You know what, buddies? You know what I kind of feel like playing is Kerbal Space Program. This is a space simulator, space simulator game where you build rockets and you go to different planets. So what I need you to do right now is tell me what planet we're going to go to. Jewel, we'll, uh, we'll go to Jewel. Jewel is the Kerbal Space Program analog for uh, Jupiter. Are we trying to get these four Kerbals back? That's the question. That looks kind of silly, but it's going to work. Now, there we go. That's a big old rocket. It's loud. It's a big rocket. And once we get a little bit over like 25,000 meters, we'll go ahead and, and pitch over. And we're increasing our periapsis outside of the atmosphere we'll be fine now bro you're in space yeah this is one of the crazy like levels of baldur's gate you don't usually see nah we uh i got stuck in baldur's gate and i was bored with it and so now we're playing kerbal space program we're going to jewel this is our entire solar system here and we're trying to get to this planet here it's, it's called jewel in this game but it's it's jupiter it's like a green jupiter it'll be cool there's no such thing as zero gravity, Cameron. That's what's really important about this game. Nothing taught me more about orbital mechanics um, than this game. Playing this game will make you an astrophysicist, which I always wanted to be, so. There's no such thing as zero gravity. We are in free fall right now. And so in the same way that like, they have those planes that'll take you up, not too late for what? What are you talking about? To be an astrophysicist, I think it probably is. They have those planes that'll take you up uh, really high and then they dive and you experience weightlessness like you're in space because all that is happening right now is that you're in, you're in free fall. That's why there's zero gravity like in our spaceship because if you think about like a cannon, let's focus on Kerbin here. This is the earth and let's say the Kerbal Space Program, the Kerbal Space Center here is where we're launching our rocket from, which it is where we launched our rocket from. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to see it from this way. Okay, whatever. We're gonna launch our rocket from here. The way that like Isaac Newton theorized it is you have a cannon and you point it that. You point it that way. So we're gonna shoot a cannonball. We're gonna shoot it over there. You shoot a really powerful cannon. That cannon ball goes this way and then it lands on the ground. You pack it with even you pack it with even more powder. It fires the cannonball even more forcefully. It flies even further, and then it lands over here. What if you fired the cannon ball with such force that the cannonball flew and fell, but missed the the, the Earth? Like you might like shoot it with such force that it misses and goes all the way around, and then falls here. Well, you can you can fire it with the right trajectory and with the right amount of force, you get the cannonball to fly all the way around and, and never never hit the Earth again. And that's all orbit is. That's all being in orbit is. And so that's what we did here. We essentially took our cannonball, which was a rocket, and we didn't need a cannon to shoot it because it has engines on it that are continually propelling it as long as we have fuel. And we missed the Earth, and now we're continually missing the Earth, but we're falling towards the earth like this is our apoapsis this is the highest point of our fall and this is our periapsis it's the lowest point of our fall right now we are actively falling towards our periapsis but our periapsis is the point where we come the closest to earth we're going to miss it and we're going to go all the way back up and we're going to come back down we're going to miss it again that would be why we float around but it's not because there's no gravity the reason why we float is precisely because there is gravity we're falling towards the earth anyways that's that's orbital mechanics for you hello that's a bright engine so here's jupiter this is the closest we're going to come to it so take your pictures there it is <laughs> this is the closest we're going to get buddy so yeah we just came all the way over here millions of miles from the earth uh, and now we're about to head back. But the good news is we used Jules' gravity to get us back in a position where we 
are going to fall back towards the Earth instead of away from the Earth. Bye, Joel. See you later. Now, what's insane about this, <laughs> this plan is we're going to be falling. Remember, we're not in like a zero gravity. We're in free fall. All the way from up here, we are, I think, millions of, of kilometers away from the Earth. We're going to fall, accelerating the entire time, all the way back down to Kerbin, which means we're going to be traveling, whenever we get to this point, we're going to be traveling at an insane velocity. And we're going to hit Kerbin with our heat shield. The, the atmosphere will slow us down. It's, it's like shooting a bullet into water. The problem is we need to s slow down. One, we, we need to slow down enough to where we don't just shoot out the other side of the atmosphere. And we want to make sure that our heat shield, you know, if you shoot a bullet into water, the friction of the water slows down the bullet until it stops. If you shoot a bullet, if you, if you shoot something into like water fast enough, it, it'll destroy the thing that is falling into the water. Same thing with the gas of the atmosphere. If we hit it at a fast enough speed, uh, immediately once we start compressing all that gas, whenever we hit it, that gas turns to plasma and is going to superheat the exterior of our vessel. And hopefully our heat shield will be sufficiently protective enough to keep us from vaporizing. We'll see. And now we're going to point our heat shield and fall all the way down to the planet. Altitude is 200 kilometers, 100 kilometers. Uh, we're going to hit atmosphere at 70 kilometers. And we'll see our speed right now is increasing because we're falling towards the planet and there's nothing to resist us. But as soon as we hit that atmosphere, we're going to start experiencing drag which is going to decrease our speed very dramatically, very quickly. We are sub 70 kilometers, so you can watch our speed here. It's increasing. Oh, good lord. 33, 10, 33, 13, 16. Come on, speed. Come on, speed. Go down. There it goes. 33, 20, 33, 15, good lord. Our altitude is 40 kilometers. We're doing good, we're gonna, we're gonna be totally fine here. As soon as this plasma burns off, we're gonna sh release our chutes. Our drogue chutes are gonna be small chutes that are gonna slow us down more gradually so that our big chute doesn't break. Here we go. There go our drogues. They're slowing us down much more effectively to the point where our big shoe can deploy and not break. We are at 3,000 meters and falling. We are at sub 150. There go our drogues. You can see that speed really falling off now. As soon as that full shoot deploys, we'll be totally fine. Because 50 meters per second is too fast, but that full shoot's going to deploy. Bring us all the way down to like 10 meters per second. We're gonna we're gonna just very gently touch the surface here. And we are kind of landing right on this slope, and that'll probably be fine. And touch down. That's fine. This is this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Yep. Oh, yep. Careful. Careful there. There we go. Oh God. Okay. 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 All right then. We're fine. We're we're fine. Oh, this hill is not good. We're fine. Oh. We're. St oh. Stop rolling. Stop rolling. Stop rolling. Stop rolling. Stop rolling. Stop rolling. Oh my God. This is insane. 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 We're gonna die.